What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are finally back with, I guess, an in-person deck profile on our government-mandated vaccine picnic time. I just, uh, had, I just had chips. Yes, we, we finished our food. Now Jake is showing us his deck profile for. Uh, it was what you played in remote duels. Yeah. Right? Uh, sure. I think you've played in one remote duel, and then. Uh, no, 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 no. I've never played this remote played duel. This has just been playing for fun in our sort of like online local remote. It counts as remote. Those are remote locals. Yeah, but it may sound like it was an actual event. It's not. I'm just beating scrubs. Um, <laughs> I'm offended by this. Yeah, being offended by it. Anywho, uh, so yeah, I've been playing Ignistus. So uh, super fun Cybers deck. Um, does things off one card. It's kind of dumb. Um, and yeah, I enjoy it. So let's go through it. We are so, here on a park bench with stain. Stain yeah, right here. Questionable stain. And cards are going flying in the wind. Yeah, look, I had a feeling that would happen. Yeah, hold that. Alrighty. Uh, so we start with a Chi Chi at Ignista. Uh, so that is your monster searcher of the deck. Um, he does have a second effect that if your Ignista battles, you can destroy it before damage calc. So you can do some cheeky avoidance of damage. Um, then you have Pakari at Ignista. Um, that one is your spell and trap searcher and can modulate levels to make level fours because uh, that's trying to make you into light dragon. Uh, then we've got uh, two Doyon. Uh, Doyon recurs ones from grave. And then if he's useless with material, you recur spell and traps from Grave as well. So he's really good in sort of grindy games. Uh, some one ofs we've got Doshin and Hiari. Uh, these are just extenders. If you have any um, Ignisters on the board, they just special summon for free. Um, they are the only reason they're in the deck. So is there a certain one that starts the entire combo? Uh, a Chi Chi or Pakari can start your combo based okay. on cards that you get. So I'll do a one card combo at the end just to show you sort of what they do. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, this one is searchable off another card that I'll show you soon. That one is not. Um, that's why I play both. Because okay. if you open one, you want to sort of get away to another, I guess. Uh, then we've got, um, what's this one's name again? Baruru at Ignista. So he's the tuner of the deck. Um, on summon foolishes, and then if you use him as a uh, synchro material for a cyber, so he reborns the other material. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, and then final one of for these is Denmari. Uh, so this one goes with the, the boss monster of the deck. If he's in Grave and you've got the Big Link 6 on board, you banish him to target a card. So it's like a Abyss um, Archfiend thingo. Just target target a card and negate some effects for the turn. Okay. Uh, then uh, three Ashes. Because Ash is good. Uh, then we've got Ignis to Island. Um, so this is probably the heart and soul of the deck so if you've got no monsters in the main monster zone you special summon a level four from hand and you can do that for as many ones as you have not used their attribute yet so in theory you can use that six times in a turn okay <laughs> yeah fun. um well. and yeah also um can recur from grave as well so if someone destroys it it yeah, punishes yeah. a cyburst to then put itself back in the board. Just, just goes through it that's um. <laughs> yeah yeah um then we've got i meet you this is one of the new cards that has come out so you reveal um you reveal a Cyburst from your extra deck with 23 attack, and then you can search one of your Ignisters from the main deck who has the same attribute. You can't activate effects other than Cyburst for the turn, but and if you don't summon the one that you revealed, you take 23 damage. But that's, like again, another sort of combo starter. Yeah. Uh, then we've got um, Idle Reborn. Uh, that is a quick play monster reborn for the archetype. Um, also has a grave effect, I think. If you banish it and a card from hand, you can recur a Cyburst spell. I'm um, sorry, a... AI spell or trap. Yep. Um, so again, good in more grindy games. Uh, eye contact. Uh, this is a funny card. Um, so this one, if you have Ignis Island in play and you have another copy in hand, you put the one in hand back to the bottom of the deck and draw three. Sure. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Draw three. Yeah. Because one up. Yeah, exactly. It's a one up because you can search it. You can recur it a Thoyon. Uh, we got Cyburst Mining to search everything. Oh, yep. Uh, triple tactics because you will get hand trapped um, so you want to either get some advantage off of that or just start messing with your opponent's hand if you've still got combo uh, and then one call by um, this will change once we get cross out designator uh, this whole deck will everything change. will change so we're going to be playing out. like one of every hand trap yeah. <laughs> all the world changes all the world changes uh, in the meantime yeah. though while I can't negate off turn I try to negate as much on my turn so we play uh, three judgment uh, three strike and two invert. Pretty sure this happened on the turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these happen on the opponent's turn, not yours. Yeah, I know, but I have to set up <laughs> first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Didn't that also happen on that thing? <laughs> okay. We need Anywho, an extra deck. From the assistant. Top to the extra deck. So we'll go in order of link rating. So we play two dark infant. This is the other new card that came out that's relevant. Uh, so this one on summon searches your Ignis Island. So now your Picari is free to search good cards. Is um, this what you hand trap? 
Uh, more often than not, yes. Okay. This is why you should be hand trapping. Um, because if, well, a lot of people aren't playing more than one Igneous Island because they're like, oh, this searches it. No, because if this gets hand trapped, you're fucking nowhere. Yes. <laughs> you are up the creek. No, you are. Open. Yeah, just open. Halfway to the island, still in the ocean. Yeah, so that is one of the two effects. The reason you play two is for the second effect. Um, so um, we'll talk about it when I get to the other card, but it has another effect that we'll go through shortly. Uh, then we've got uh, Lingaribo. This is for going second and stuff if you're dealing with a heavy back row board. So um, he can tribute himself to negate and banish a trap. Yep. Uh, and then if you want to summon him back, you can tribute an Ignista uh, monster. So yeah, he's decent. Uh, Link Spider for when you get eventually nibiru and you need to still make combo. <laughs> Uh, he's got, a Cyburst monster. Rather, he is a Cyburst. Rather fun. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Cyburst Wicked. This one searches the tuner of the deck. Um, while it's Link Summoned, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So if you, you are in a sticky spot, you could just sort of sit on that for a little bit. Um, and monsters at points two also can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, so when something's summoned to its zone, it banishes the Cyburst from Grave to search a Cyburst tuner from deck. Okay. Um, so you'll see how that comes up in the combo shortly. Uh, we've got two Spice Mages, one for your initial combo, and then the other to be able to make access code later on. Um, and then we've got uh, Update Jammer to make your access code broken. Um, then we've got Dark Templar. So he is another really good card in the deck if you need to hand trap something. Uh, so the two main effects are uh, that if something's summoned to his zone, he then special summons level four or lowers from your graveyard to the other zones he points to. Yep. Um, so that's how you basically get to your big boy. Uh, then we've got uh, Transcode Talker. Uh, again, that's mainly to get your access code. Uh, Fire Phoenix Agnista. Doesn't come up all that often. It does have three different effects. Um, the main reason you're playing him is so that you can search because uh, you reveal him off I meet you when you search a combo starter. Okay, okay. Oh. But basically, the three effects he has is if he battles, he can deal damage to your opponent equal to its attack points, um, but then they don't take battle damage, so you can just punch for 23. Uh, if it's destroyed by card effect, you can destroy much of your opponent controls. And if it was destroyed while it was Link Summoned, it just comes back in the next standby phase. Okay. So it does do some things, it's just they're not relevant. Um, access Code Talker. Didn't get a reprint. Sucks to be you if you sold it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the Link 6. Never the sell boss first edition secret staples. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, so the only Link 6 in the game, the boss monster of the deck. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Link 6, uh, gains attack for every material you use, um, unaffected by card effects, uh, once per turn, can pop a card, and gains a token. Because, you know, you've gone through a lot of effort, so it good. needs to be good. It better be good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good. And then last two cards, we've got Wind Pegasus, Adding Nista, and Light Dragon, Adding Nista. So these are more you're going second cards so that you can uh, break boards. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Do you want to show us your... Yes, one, one card, card combo. Oh. Cool. Get ready. Yeah. Get ready. So moist. Alrighty, so we'll do it with this boy. Alrighty, so we've got normal summon a Chi Chi effect. We'll search you Makari. Okay. Then linking one into Dark Infant. We'll search you Field Spell. Uh, activating Field Spell using effect to summon Makari. Makari will search you I Meet You. Uh, I Meet You, revealing Dark Templar. Search you the Doyle. Okay. Uh, then you go link to summon, just sort of scratching around the cards that I have here. Uh, summon Wicked. Uh, using Field Spell again, summon Doyon. Uh, chain Link 1 Cybers Wicked will banish the infant to add the tuner. Uh, Doyon will then add back the Achichi. So adding Baruru from deck. Well, that's banished, so that's meant to be there. Okay, uh, we go link two again. Summon Splash Mage. Uh, summon Doy uh, Baruru. Baruru sends your banished to the gate boy, the Denmari. Uh, Splash Mage effect revives the Bakari. Um, you can sink seven into Wind Pegasus here because Baruru will bring this back and you still got the link three to make the next card or you can just go into the next one depending on what you want to do. Um, let's pretend that you've just decided to go link three. You already lost the side of the right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, summoning Dark Templar. Uh, then Island Effect again to summon the Achichi because this one was normal summon, you can still use a field spell. Uh, not using this effect yet. Then we go link one. 
to the other Dark Templar. So this is the other effect that I was mentioning before. If it's on the field while an Ignister monster activates its effect, it can change its attribute and move itself to a zone it points to. So Dark Templar effect activates chaining Dark Infant effect, move itself over here, call it the attribute that you need, and then you get all three zones to summon to. Is there a particular attribute you need to move your way to make it to? The one that you don't have. Like, you can just go divine, and that way you're not conflicting with anything else. Big. <laughs> Big. It's the fourth god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and then, yeah, depending on what you want to do, you can just go for Wind Pegasus. I know some builds also play Cyberse Quantum powers. Dragon, because um, they can summon it there, and then they have to attack the Cyberse Quantum, and Cyberse Quantum, when you attack it, is a compulse. Okay. Um, I don't do that. Could do that. Could be an addition. Um, but, yeah, basically, with the board that you have at this point, um, you could go, let's just say, Wind Pegasus, Buru, summon this back, and then Link 6 into the arrival. So that makes it a 5k arrival? Uh, that makes arrives. it a 4. So if you don't do Pegasus, you get 5k? Well, that's the thing. If you don't do Pegasus, you have one random monster on the board. Oh, so you still don't make Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. If, if you have an extender, you get to the 6k easy. Cool, cool, cool. But that's just from one card. That is one card. Yeah, that's fair. Tower's okay. still been. <laughs> yeah. Towers is, is a three. Towers not banned. Towers is a three, and no one plays it. What year are you living in? <laughs> sacrifice needs to be brought back to three. Yeah. It's not banned. Oh, sacrifice it's still bad. bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. No, sacrifice is a three. Yes, well. I'm fairly sure sacrifice oh, is, is also a three. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, move my pen. Move my pen scales. Move my pen scales. Uh, <laughs> oh, we just need this. Oh, we have that. Oh, we no, just no, need no, this. No, no, no. It's the pen scales, and then I can play demise. Also, give me three demise. Give me three. Yeah, that's the problem. Scout's also a three, isn't it? Scout is yep. three. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. They literally have every core card they need to do yes. things. But, they still but do I need five back row. <laughs> no, no, we need, we need, we need MR4 back. Yeah. We have the towers. Yeah, this is the new towers. New towers. The big chonker. Yeah.